We are gonna start with the Sam side um, before I get to the Walmart side, and that's mostly because Caitlin is coming home in exactly, what time is it? 11.50, so I've got 14 minutes to film this, people. Okay, so my Sam's order is we are down to, I think, two cans of chicken breasts. We don't use these very often, but lately we've been in a very soup mood because here in Missouri, it's freaking cold. Uh, we also have chicken breasts. Guys, this is kind of embarrassing. But I bought 10 pounds of chicken breasts from Sam's, and you'll notice later that I bought another 10 pounds at Walmart. I did both of them as grocery pickups, and I just don't remember what's always in my carts. So, I also have my protein shakes. Um, these are what I'm using in the morning, not as a meal replacement, but really just kind of helping uh, jumpstart my day, feeling like I started the day off with a healthy shake, and that makes me feel good. I used to do smoothies, I used to do protein shakes that are made it from home, and it just gets to be so much, and I'm so busy that these are kind of like my go-to. Just really simple, very lovely, and I love the caramel, guys. The caramel is the favorite for me. We are almost out of Gatorades. Uh, we aren't going through them as quickly right now because it is a little bit chillier and um, we don't do winter sports, but we have a spring sport coming up, so I thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and start these because one a days, one a days? No. Well, open gyms have started and practices will be, I think, the end of this month, so. And then these are my fresh vegetables that I got. These are staples that I always have to get from, excuse me, this hard thing is driving me crazy. Um, I have to get these from Sam's almost every order, and that's because I just really go through salad kicks. Um, so I, the broccoli is not so much for me as it is for Caitlin. And then I love to get the baby spring mix, um, and then throw some sweet kale mix on that as well. This is one of the superfood selections, guys. I really, really like this. I'm not much for Brussels sprouts. Um, but I cannot tell you how crunchy and delicious it is to have them in my meal. I just love it. Moving on to the Walmart side, it is a restock in all of our frozen vegetables, if you cannot tell. Um, so I have four packs of green beans, four spinaches, I have four broccoli cauliflowers, I have four corns, and I have a mixed medley, the broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. I have four of those as well. Um, you're gonna see that I have fresh carrots. Again, not so much for me as it is for Caitlin. Um, because she is more of a fresh kid, which is awesome, and I love that. I over ordered in this, and I have no idea how I did it, but I apparently ordered three of the oven roasted. So there's one, two, and three. And then I ordered three of the oven roast turkey. So, but that's okay. I throw these in the freezer, we get them out as we need them, um, and I'm sure I will be using them a lot more come when nursing school starts because um, I am one of those meal preppers and sometimes I just need a sandwich just to snack on. Half a sandwich makes me super happy sometimes. Uh, we were out of chicken nuggets or as um, Caitlin calls them, nuggies. And <laughs> here's my other 10 pounds of chicken breast that I bought from Walmart. What I actually do guys, because my family went from five to three very, very quickly, um, we actually will unpack each one of these, put two in a baggie, and then freeze them again. Um, and that is just because sometimes, if I leave my husband to cook a meal, God love him, he'll put three, sometimes four chicken breasts into a meal, and it's just the three of us. And there's no way, and that's so much leftovers, and our family is awful about eating leftovers. Um, I have started buying a turkey breast uh, each time that I pick up a purchase. And that's because <laughs> when it comes to special times of the year, anniversaries, birthday, how about Thanksgiving and Christmas? Um, with my Alpha Gal, these things go super, super fast around the Thanksgiving Christmas time. Granted, I realize it's February and they're not out anytime soon, but we're just kind of stocking up here and there whenever we see them as a great deal. Uh, so that Eric and I can enjoy them for other special occasions because Alpha Gal limits me on what I can eat. Um, okay, uh, I got two packages of asparagus. You will notice there isn't four, and that is because I'm the only person that loves asparagus in this house. I also have four more frozen broccolis. Uh, we were almost out of spicy mustard and we are almost out of ranch. Honestly, if I could just kick the ranch out of the family, I would be a happier person, but it's gonna be around for a while because that's what everybody enjoys. Um, you'll also notice that I bought, I'm gonna try this out, I'm not sure about it yet, 
but it's called As I Am, and it is a co-wash. I happen to have really <laughs> wavy slash curly hair, and it all happened after I had the twins, and it just progressively has gotten more and more um, kinky as, I, I don't know if kinky is the right word. Guys, I look like an 80s rocker if I do not um, treat the curls or if I do not straighten them, and it's absolutely wretched. The petroleum jelly and the lotion are my concoction for what <laughs> my husband calls my lotion devotion uh, because my skin is so dry right now from the winter. Guys, it's ridiculous. I feel like a freaking snake. Um, and then I also have more of the leave-in conditioner. This is very hydrating and I usually use it on day three. Um, guys, this stuff, I don't know if you guys have ever even heard of it, but I found it at Walmart uh, over the summer in Florida and I love it. Uh, the smell is amazing and just the way that it revives my hair is just super crazy awesome. I literally have no extra work that I have to put into it other than spraying it and maybe reforming a couple of the curls, but this is so good. And then of course, I will take product and put it in my hair um, after wash. So maybe, I have never bought the Flawless Curls before, so we're gonna just gonna try it out just to see what it's like. I might not like it. I don't usually like a lot of products stuck in my hair. By Active Chews, um, I've been having heart palpitations, uh, not palpitations, skipped beats and um, my blood pressure has been up, so I'm going to uh, be adding calcium, extra calcium. I already take a multivitamin, but as I've aged, because now I'm 40, um, I realize that I need extra calcium for my bone strength anyway, but the calcium is really necessary also for um, good heart rhythms. Um, I'm also low on my emergency. I think I've got one left. I love these. I add them with, you guessed it, my cranberry grape juice. Oh, wrong side. Hey, check it out. I love cran grape. Um, it is my go-to afternoon drink, and I will add one of my um, emergency packs to it with a little bit of water, uh, and it is fabulous. Uh, my husband loves orange juice. I personally am not as big a fan as he is, so this is mostly for him. Caitlin, I think, gets into it from time to time. And then, of course, our female supplies, which I completely forgot about and threw them up here right as I started recording. Oh, and you may not be able to see them, but I've got bananas and grapes over there on the other side. Um, those are just for afternoon snacks or as I get hungry because I am horrible about remembering to eat. Okay, so that about sums it up. What do you think, guys? Have I spent enough money? <laughs> okay, so I will have the running totals at the end.